What's up guys, in an interview with WindowsCentral.com, two head developers from Diablo 2 Resurrected, studio design director Rob Gellerani and project lead Michael Bukowski mentioned that new Diablo 2 Resurrected content isn't being ruled out. The developers said, and I quote, we wanted to build a really strong foundation before we started talking about the third and fourth floors on this building. If we misstepped on what the core game was, anything else we were doing would have been kind of meaningless. We definitely have lots of ideas, but right now we're waiting to make sure we get the core game right. We'll have to see once the game goes live what we do about new rune words, new items, rebalancing, things like that. Now this is incredible news because new additions and fresh content always breathes new life into the game. Just hearing the developer say the words new rune words, new items, and rebalancing can all be amazing things and I got super excited. Especially since we've seen things like patch 1.1 which brought so much content it honestly could have been considered an expansion pack. We could potentially see more like that in the future. Now to some people who are purists and don't want any changes, hashtag no changes and all. After being part of the World of Warcraft classic experience, we all know how that went, smiley winky face. But speaking of changes, the developers also mentioned that when it comes to bots and dupes, some things have changed. The team, while certainly committed to keeping the game as similar as possible to the original, they did also implement extra analytics to monitor the Diablo 2 resurrected economy in real time. What this means potentially is that Blizzard or Vicarious Visions at this point, will likely be keeping a watchful eye on botting and duping and perhaps will lay down the law if they see some shenanigans. But of course, that is just my own speculation. However, in the interview, there were small tweaks mentioned that Gallerani expects will keep the in-game online economy much more measured and prevent people from massively exploiting duping items such as Stones of Jordans, also known as SOJs, which were so heavily duped in the past because of its use as a currency. He mentions that these new systems are not flawless by any stretch of the imagination, but instead they will assist against some of these issues much better than in the past. Now I am super hyped for Diablo 2 Resurrected. If you are too, don't forget to give the video a like. I'll put a link to the full interview in the description below so you can check that out, and I will see you in the World of Sanctuary on September 23rd. Peace.